Hey y'all, this is Jared with Flutie Lake Homestead, and I'm down here at my little barn project, and I thought I would run something by y'all. I've had uh, several people over the last year, probably, ask me about uh, maybe having uh, some t-shirts someday, and I uh, thought now might be a good time to do it. Um, I'm going to start a campaign, uh, that's what they call it anyway, on the website, but uh, there's going to be some t-shirts for sale. They're going to be t-shirts, hoodies, and youth size t-shirts. And uh, I think I have to sell about 11 of them before they'll print them. But if any of y'all would still be interested in one, I'm going to list the link in the description below. And the way to work, they'll be available for sale for 20 days, I think. And then uh, after the 20 days, then they will ship them out. And uh, there's several colors you can choose from. And they have a, they say Flutie Lick Homestead on them. And have a, a, a Drew picture of like the cabin. Uh, and I'll, I'll, you can click on the link and check them out. And uh, if you like them, we'd appreciate if you buy one. And if not, no hard feelings either way. But I've had several people ask me about them. And uh, all the proceeds that I make from the t-shirts is going to go directly to the barn. Um, I've got a little kitty started uh, saving up to order my tin from my roof. So uh, anything I make from the t-shirts is going to go to the barn project. And uh, might be a good little souvenir for you. And uh, I really appreciate y'all watching. I've been very, very blessed with this channel. I never dreamed that I'd be almost to 20,000 subscribers. Um, I started making these videos just for home movies to document stuff for my kids someday. And uh, y'all have really, really uh, been a blessing to me with this channel. And I really enjoy uh, commenting and talking with you all. And there, I've met some wonderful, wonderful people out there. And uh, But if you're interested in them, just uh, click the link, check them out. I think the t-shirts sell for uh, $20.00. And the kids' t-shirts, I believe, is 16. And there's some hoodies that's 35. And uh, I think they come about any size you'd like. So uh, I'd appreciate you just checking them out. And if you like it, get you one. If you don't like it, just uh, keep on a scrolling. Hey, y'all, this is Jared with Flutie Lick Homestead. And uh, today I'm going to take you down here and show you what my plan is for the next phase of the barn build. And uh, it's been a beautiful, beautiful day here. It's been about 70 degrees. And uh, the Lord has really blessed us with some beautiful weather here today. And it looks like the next few days. Got a, a big monsoon of a rain last night. But it's uh, pretty up here now. And the leaves is all beautiful. And the squirrels are squacking and the birds are chirping. So it's really a beautiful, beautiful day. And just uh, very blessed to be out here today. So I'm going to take you down here and uh, show you what my plan is. Okay. You can see right here, this is where I left you last time. Um, got the logs up to the hayloft floor there. And uh, I originally, you seen me split those poplar logs. I was going, this needs to go up about three more feet to be the level with this. I was going to take them split logs and continue the logs on up. But for one, all this I want left open because my hayloft is going to continue out. And then uh, right here, there'll be a door here with a ramp to go into the top so I think now my plan is I'm going to floor this hayloft go ahead and get it floored and uh, then I need to figure out about putting my logs in here I'm going to use probably the split logs that I had split continue these on out so my floor will go all the way then uh, uh, I brought up it's on my truck now I got a whole truckload in this pile full of uh, old uh, red oak lumber that come out of an old house I tore down over in McGoffin County. And uh, I think now I'm going to frame up a post wall here and here and go ahead and frame up the rafters here to match this. And I'm going to build a wall here from the log stall over to the corn crib. And then the three feet wall around this side and this side, I'm going to sheet in that old red oak lumber. And it'll match the barn and the crib perfectly because all this is red oak. And it's already about the same color. So this will be a red oak wall up here. And then this gable will be red oak. And then uh, on the front, um, it's still up for debate. I may box the front and build two big swinging barn doors on the front of it. So uh, that's my new plan. It'll be easier. And it'll look good, it'll match, and uh, it'll seal it all up good. And then inside the log part, I'm probably going to take some of them and rip them to the size of the cracks and uh, 
cover the cracks inside to help keep the animals out of the weather and keep the wind off of them. So uh, now we're going to floor this and then we can uh, build our walls and go from there getting the rafters up. So I uh, appreciate y'all watching and I really appreciate all the support on the little barn build and I uh, hope y'all have enjoyed the videos and uh, I enjoy cranking them out to y'all and reading your comments. So uh, we're going to get busy now.